What's up everybody, this is Titan, Titans of CNC, and we're on the Makino A81NX, and today we're gonna machine some serious titanium chips. So the pre-op is finished. We have now faced this surface. We've profiled it so it's nice and perpendicular. And we put a 25,000 chamfer around. And now we're gonna use the same exact setup. We're simply going to lift the part, engage it, lock it down, and then we're gonna start roughing some titanium, okay? So we have a nice flat surface, it's perpendicular to the sides. When we established the previous op, we simply made the top surface our Z surface. We're gonna actually switch up. So instead of the front surface, we're gonna make Z0 the jaw, okay? So we're gonna take out the material, we're gonna probe the jaws, reestablish the material, let's do this. I'm actually programming this in Mastercam, right? So check it out. Everything gray is actually the Rota S chalk from Shunk that you see up on the tombstone. And when you see it on the tombstone, it's up like this. One, one thing we gotta imagine, I haven't actually put the material on it yet. I just placed the part and I actually have the bottom surface right here. I have this surface, 50 thousandths, above the bottom of the jaw where I'm gonna put my Z0. So Z0 is gonna be right there on that surface. And then I have a 50 thousandths gap, which is 50 thousandths of material that I'm actually gonna cut off on the second operation, okay? So we got pre-op, now we got first operation that's gonna do the majority of work. And then we have the second operation that's gonna actually do the bottom and the inside, okay? All right, so now that the probe is in position, I'm gonna go into my MDI, right screen menu, program list. I'm gonna bring up the PQI Easy settings for the probe. Go into the Z surface and insert that, and I'm gonna go ahead and run my program to set the Z. All right, so the first tool we're gonna to use is this Kenna Metal four inch diameter Dodeca shell mill. So now we flip the material and we have 300 thousandths. We wanna take off the back end. And we're gonna take 70 thousandths passes four times, leaving 20 thousandths on the surface for a cleanup later. Let's make it happen. So check this out. So here's my tool path. I'm gonna hit play right here. You can see exactly what it's doing. Now this is a big tool. So I got some big loops in here because I wanted to loop in and gradually come into the titanium. Sometimes you guys hear me talk about walking down the beach into the water slowly. You can run down the beach into the water, but it's still not gonna be as much as jumping off a dock and plunging at a 90 degree right into that material. So go into the material, get after it, cut some chips, and there's the tool path, all right? So one thing about these cutters, they don't really recommend that you actually step up too much. I'm actually stepping up because I wanna test the tool, but I also know that I'm gonna come through with a Harvey 3 end mill and take smaller steps 
before I surface the whole thing perfectly. So there's the tool path. Check this out, this is important. My tool path is actually lower than my jaws, and yet, when you look at it, you can see that the tool path doesn't hit the jaws. It doesn't go through the jaws. It actually is above here and stops here. Okay, and that's something really cool with, with Mastercam. So when I come into parameters, and I come into like tool type, and I come into geometry, this is where I do it. Right here, avoid geometry. So what I did was, I actually told Mastercam, hey, here's these jaws, and avoid these jaws, and then on wall stock, I put a half an inch, and then on floor stock, I put 0.1, so it basically takes the three inch tool and it keeps it away from the shunk jaws on the chuck by a half an inch. And then the .100 for floor stock is right here. Cool, right? And on our Aerospace Academy, we're gonna teach you how to do all of it. It's gonna be amazing, okay? So let's go cut some chips. All right, time for tool two, the Harvey Ultra 8X. We're gonna crank some titanium. just finished kind of like phase two of the machining. I say phase two because it is a three jaw chuck and therefore I'm dropping all the way down, hitting the first side, phase one, going all the way down five inches deep, hitting the second side, then hitting the bottom, and then I'm gonna raise up, walk all the way around the part, okay? So the cool thing is you can actually see the part starting to take shape now, okay? So you got this side cut, the other side, so now it's kind of like a triangle, and then it's gonna get the bottom cut, and then it's gonna profile. This A81NX Makino is a beast, and it's awesome. The flood coolant and the chip evacuation is absolutely insane. You literally have coolant coming from all directions, but I've turned it off because of filming, because we wouldn't be able to see anything, and that's why you see some chip buildup. I simply turned off the showers and most of the coolant, and I'm only running through the spindle coolant, which is not enough coolant to actually get the chips away. All right, boom. One thing that I'll mention about the Canamental Harvey Ultra 8X is that after two hours straight cutting, the inserts look great. And that's the first side. Each insert has eight cutting surfaces, so this tool is blowing my mind. Check this out, this is a one, two, three block right here, so this is three inches. I just wanna show you the scale so you see how much titanium we've actually roughed off. So it's a three inch diameter tool. And then look at the one, two, three block to the overall part, right? It's a beast of a part. Boom. Crazy. Check it out, it is absolutely beautiful. So we started out with 150 pound, 15 inch diameter chunk of 6L4B titanium. We faced off 300,000, then we brought in the Kenna Metal Harvey Ultra 8X, took some big cuts, you can see the cut pattern. Big cuts throughout, took off a lot of material, and now the 
part is starting to take shape and this part is going to be stunning and now that the majority of material is gone using a big tool we're going to go to a little bit smaller tool all right so we're going to go to a three quarter inch harvey three end mill this is the king of all end mills for roughing titanium says boeing because it won the boeing challenge we're going to take that tool we're just going to multi-axis and we're just going to profile and step all the way up and you just see the part just emerge from the titanium it's going to be beautiful right so we'll make that another video i'll probably post it later this week and keep a lookout for it because it's going to be insane i'm going to show you the whole process behind it all right if you guys haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button if you like this video hit the like button and i will see you on the next video Bye.